All right, hey everybody, it is Tuesday and it's two o'clock, so that means it's time for Top 5 Tuesday. I'm having a little bit of an issue with like Facebook Live. I can't even see if I'm on the screen, but um, I, I think I am. I, I really don't know. I'm gonna just take a look over here and see if it is showing up, because um, I can't tell from where I'm looking here. So bear with me for just a moment. Okay, all right, I guess I'm live now. It's just not showing up on one of my screens. All right, so welcome to Tuesday, welcome to June, and we live in a crazy world, and guess what? We're gonna leave that behind, and we are gonna focus on racing on this show here. So uh, first of all, let's kick it off and talk about a couple of things that I'm gonna give away this week. So the first thing, I have to talk about my friends from Joe's Racing Products absolutely love pretty much everything that I've gotten from them ever. So we really love the thermo spacers and the water outlets and the air cleaner studs. Uh, th those are some of our top selling products. And I also, of course, love the GoPro mounts that they make for race cars as well. Because when you're looking at GoPro mounts, you know, like I've got one that's great for my pit bike. It would be great for a bicycle, but we're going to put those uh, GoPro mounts under a whole different level of strain when we're putting them onto a race car and I feel like that they do the really the such an amazing job with those so I have this Joe's hat right here and all you need to do to enter our drawing is to just drop in a comment that is literally all you need to do is drop in a comment you can say hi you can leave a question um, whatever you'd like to do there and in fact um, their products came up the other day. We were doing our unsealed show. On Sundays, they do a show with Steve Hendren from Hendren Racing Engines, and we answer a lot of the tech questions that people have. And one of those was, where was the best place to put a water temperature sensor? And Steve's answer was to use Joe's Thermo Spacer because it's already built so that you can put your temperature sensor with that Thermo Spacer, and it will work with either a 602 or a 604, so either one of those engines. So yeah, to win the hat, just drop in a comment. All right, next up is if you remember what my sign said last week. I can't see myself, so I'm just going to kind of guess that that's where my sign is. Um, if you remember what my sign said last week, drop that in as a comment, and we will do a separate drawing for... Crate Insider Beef Jerky. Love our beef jerky. I should really get you guys a link so that we can uh, drop that into there and, and that way if you want to order some, you certainly can. But this is the sweet teriyaki is the flavor that we've chosen and really, really like it. It's, you know, great stuff and of course love to um, give it away here on the show as well. So I... Uh, you know, I've really been trying to be creative with some of the shows this year because we have had a, it just hasn't been a normal year as we all know leave it there. Um, but we've, what I decided to focus on this week is some things that have been either popular or that I've gotten a lot of calls on and people wondering if they're in stock. So that, oh, those are the items that we are going to talk about this week. As many of you know, I have been on the struggle bus most of the year with trying to stay in stock with the Crate Insider flat air filter bases. They're just such a popular product that it's just been really hard to keep enough of them in stock and keep production going. And I apologize for anybody who has had to wait, um, but we just got another shipment of these in and our Crate Insider air filter base continues to be probably our most popular product I don't really have these in order this week, you guys. I just kind of like made a list of the things I wanted to talk about. So here we go. This would probably be our most popular product of the year. And I don't like to show it on Top 5 Tuesday every week because that gets boring. But the you can find this in our online store and it runs $99.50. We definitely do have them in stock for now, but I know they go, we go through them really, really fast. So if you need to order one, I would definitely suggest to order one. Now I am gonna, this, like I said, this is a little different show than usual because Facebook is being weird and my screen over here is black. I can't see myself, but uh, I do, I can't, looks like I can see the comments. So I see I've got Jason here and Bill and Brian and Danny um, and you guys, some of you guys are also on my unsealed show. We had technical difficulties. We had a phone overheating. Oh, you know, um, I it, literally, if that is the worst thing I have to worry about in my life is a, just a slightly fuzzy video picture, you know what? <laughs> 
I'll go with it. <laughs> Let's just roll with it. All right, I see Tyler's here and Mikey and KL and Chris, um, Alan, Tom, um, Evan, Mike, Terry, Scott, Russ. Oh my gosh, so many of you are here and so many of you come back week after week and I am so, so grateful for that. I Thank you so much for being here. I truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. All right, well, let's talk about some more products here. Well, in the very beginning, of course, I was talking about Joe's and one of my favorite products, or I should say, two of my favorite products because they uh, had a little bit of a, well, they make two of kind of what we're talking about here. And last week I was talking about seven ways that you can, seven ideas for promoting your race team, whether there's fans there or not. So, you know, of course we want fans. We've got the fans there and we can interact with them personally. I think that is the best thing in the world. Um, but even if you can't, then there's some other things you can do. And regardless, doing GoPro footage for your fans. Well, and here's a little secret too, is that I've talked to um, race Racers, I've talked to driving instructors and one thing they've told me that's very interesting is when you mount a GoPro in your car and then later on you study that footage you know of course you were there so you've got a different perspective and you can see where you you know where you hit the brake or where you hit the gas or the lines that you chose and you can see all of that later and really study it it's a really great way of improve it to improve your driving you know if you can learn from that so I thought that was very insightful and if I was a racer I would do that and I'm just gonna tell you I have a whole nother channel called racing rewind and on that Re racing rewind YouTube channel what it is is it's old VHS cassettes that I've digitized it races from the 80s and 90s and I'm putting them up onto YouTube and they're not my races I wasn't at any of them they're not my videotapes but I'm doing that because you know what it may there was there's nothing I would love more than to see my dad's racing back in the 80s and 90s and so some of this like capturing stuff on GoPro that's stuff that you know your kids and your grandkids are gonna want to see someday so why not and if you're just like a an amount a GoPro mount away from making that happen I'm gonna st strongly suggest either one of these two mounts and they they work a little bit differently so this one is built for an inch and a half bar so that it really only works with an inch and a half bar they do have different sizes but the only ones I carry are the inch and a halves but if you wanted to be adjustable so like on a dirt lay model, for instance, by the driver's side door where there's the plate, a lot of times there's the warning plate there. Well, even though it's inch and a half tubing, with that plate, this this mount won't go on there because it's not the right size. But this one here, where it's got the hose clamp and the rubber, it can adjust to really any bar size. And if you've got different size bars in your cars, so a lot of times my modified drivers will use these, and a lot of the Dirt Late models will these, use these. But either way, they really keep your GoPro nice and secure, and it's super adjustable. I guess I'll, I should bring mine out. I'll bring mine out in one of these shows and uh, be able to show you how many adjustments it has in it. These, of course, are in the packages. But um, either of these, of course are available on our website. I do carry them in stock and I was glad to see. I know um, I was talking about it last week and I saw some folks pick some up so that was really great and I, I appreciate that. All right next up um, our really really popular product of the week you know coming off of the D1 challenge uh, the Daytona one where we were really you know making some product videos and doing some free sponsorship for some folks the Daytona one XL1 engine treatment is is one of the most popular products that is really kind of a must use for any racer and so this is happens to be the 16 ounce version we have a 72 ounce as well oh and I didn't talk about the prices all right let me so I'll back up I'll actually talk about this first and then I'll do prices on all these things things. But um, the Daytona 1 XL1 engine treatment does a great job of so it does its performance and it's also longevity so it'll help with your engine lasting longer but also free up horsepower because of the fact that it binds to any of the ferrous metals in your engine you use it as an oil additive and it just makes all those surfaces slicker and that way we have less friction less friction less heat and when we have less heat we can free up more horsepower well more less friction will free up more horsepower so love the Daytona 1 XL1 engine treatment and you can use this 
use in literally any kind of engine. I use it in my own passenger car, and as I mentioned, and then of course using it in your race car. And so this one here, the 16 ounce, you need two ounces per quart is, is kind of the go-to for, for that, for your usage and it runs $24.95. And then if I back up and talk about the other products and how much they were, the Crate Insider Flat Air Filter Base runs $99.50. By the way, we do sell it with the Sure Seal, so it'll go right on top of your carburetor. We sell it with that as a package. And then the GoPro mounts, um, these are, I think these are two different prices. Yeah, so the, this one where it's uh, the, all this CNC metal right here, the inch and a half. It want this one runs one forty six ninety five, and then this newer style, the revised style with the hose clamp, it runs ninety nine ninety five, and I would one hundred percent say that they're worth it. And then that brings us a. I kind of have two products, so I guess I've talked about three, and I'm gonna have two that I'm gonna talk about both at the same time. Now, I have been selling, we're gonna talk about ProCam fuel pumps. I have been selling these so for, for several years, actually. I was actually never a direct dealer before, but um, I was just getting them from a supplier, but I decided to become a direct dealer, and uh, then, then we had a supply issue because of manufacturing. And so these have been kind of like a new manufacturing process. They used to be silver. So if you've seen a silver ProCam fuel pump, um, that would be the old style. And then this newer style is the black one right here. And we've, we've had a lot of success with the ProCam fuel pumps. There's the 9350 and there's the 9351. Those are the part numbers. One of them is a seven and a half PSI and the other is a 15 PSI. So where you would use those, a seven and a half, you would use if you're maybe running a deadhead regulator or just you know straight to the carburetor. But if you're using a bypass regulator system, which we often recommend, and then you're gonna need a little bit more fuel pressure and that's where we're gonna recommend the 15 PSI. So the big question of the week uh, is, oh, do I have these in stock? The answer is, yes I do. So um, here's proof. <laughs> so I actually have the other one. They look exactly the same. You can't tell one from the other, so I have to keep them with their boxes. I'm sure there's probably a part number on here someplace that I could be able to tell the difference. But I just wanna let people know that, yeah, if you are looking for a fuel pump and you're looking for the ProCam fuel pump, I do have both of those. I have them in stock, at least for now. Um, I'm being told um, just from the guys who are calling that they've called other places and that they're on back order. But uh, so I don't know that 100% myself for sure from the manufacturer but I do know that I have them in stock and you can order them on our website so the uh, the two price points are the 9350 which I believe is the 15 psi runs 187.77 and the 9351 which I believe is a seven and a half psi runs 179.99 and we got both of those so with that I'm going to see if there's any other comments here I mean I know there's going to be more comments so let me see if we have any questions over here if anybody has any questions go ahead and drop them in and then we'll start doing a couple of drawings here to uh to win some stuff so here alex here's this so you can tell me how many people know my sign and um i'm going to see oh yeah doug doug has a has a message here that says just a thought you should take questions through the week for your sunday show um that's great you know i should go ahead and create the event um truth is i do have people that send me messages and emails and i try to capture them for the show but you're you're absolutely right that's a really great idea um alan asked how much the bottoms the the base is 99.50 um, Terry says he's got a lot of Joe's products on the, his car, which is great. And oh, then there's Danny, a West Coast. Hey, Danny, it is great to great to have you here. Thank you so much. Oh, and Mikey, hey, because everybody knows Alex is in the studio with me, so Mikey says, hey, good luck this weekend, Alex. Hammer down, buddy. And oh, and Jeremiah is here. Jeremiah Reed, um, my uh, racer friend with the awesome YouTube channel. Love what he's doing. Mikey's also got a great video out, too. So, you know, any of you guys that are stepping up and doing video, I really cannot say how much I think it is absolutely amazing. And I'm so proud of what your of your efforts and what you guys are doing. So thank you for doing that and you know, including including the rest of the world in your dream of racing. We really, really appreciate that. I, I mean I do anyway. So let me bring out my random number generator and while we're doing that, I'm gonna tell you another story here because I like to tell stories. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. I don't know. I'm a child. Um 
hang on here there we go oh there we go so he's gonna get that and uh, I'm gonna grab the did you have a number for me Alex for, uh, oh here yeah no you can just sh flash it to me oh for the comments yeah mm -hmm. okay, I didn't, I didn't okay. Oh, I can probably see it too anyway you know we're Oh, I got it, Alex. I got it. Um, anyway, I had a great weekend. I just want to share it with you. And it was the first time I've been to a race with fans so far this year. And I also got to be the trophy girl because I'm a Crate Insider. It's the Crate Insider Crate Racing USA Street Stock Division at Cherokee Speedway. We decided to become the division sponsor there. And, you know, I'm, I'm so glad I did. You know, it, it makes me feel so much more involved. I'm really getting that full, like, sponsor experience. And so I'm learning a lot from that. And, uh, and I just loved it and it just brought me so much joy and I was like you know I'm gonna make my sign let's go racing for for right here all right so let me grab um the another comments here all right we got that bear with me apparently I just am not on 100% organized today but it happens okay so Alex is gonna work on that for me and I'm gonna answer any other questions um let's see oh Steve's here Steve's watching David's here Tyler says, miss the hats this week. <laughs> oh, I do have a hat. I have a, a Joe's hat right here we're giving away, and we're giving away some beef jerky. So speaking of the beef jerky, I have a winner here, and this is Scott Van Serksum. So Scott Van Serksum, if you would, please send the Crate Insider page, send a private message with your address. We can get that sent out. And then for we have our next winner for the Joe's hat is Tommy Eastridge. So Tommy, if you would, please send Crate Insider a private message with your address and we'll get that sent out to you. So that's really all I have this week for you guys. I am looking forward to going to the races this weekend. I'll be at Cherokee Speedway in Gaffney, South Carolina. And um, I'm just really looking forward to, to being there. It's just a, you know, it, it's where we can go through the pit gate or go to the grandstands and leave all the rest of the world behind and do what it is that we love and that we do best and be there with our friends. And it's, it's such an amazing experience and it's brought me joy in a way that I have had actually forgotten about until this past weekend. So I encourage you, if you get a chance, even if you have to go out of your state to go and race, it's a game changer. It changed, it, it, my whole life perspective has changed because of it. And so uh, anyway, I wish that for all of you. Hope we'll see more tracks open up and I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. And well, I'll see you on Sunday on Unsealed on that show. But um, if you've got any other questions for me, drop in, in, you know, send me a message or drop them in the comments and I'm always happy to help. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.